Today we're going to be crocheting this very simple personalized photo ornament. And I am going to be using the Lily Sugar and Cream size 4 cotton yarn as well as a size G or 6 or 4 and a quarter of a millimeter crochet hook. So we're going to begin with a magic circle. So take your tail and drape it over your working yarn and insert your crochet hook. And you're going to want to pinch that intersection while you yarn over and then pull through. From here, we're going to chain two, and then we're going to work inside of our magic circle and place 12 double crochets. And we want to make sure that when we're placing these stitches that we're working inside the loop as well as over the tail. So go ahead and place your 12 double crochets inside your magic circle, and I will meet back up with you at the end of the row. From here, we're going to place a slip stitch in the top of our first double crochet. And of course, you can always crochet over your tail by lining it up with your stitch. Just like that. For row two, we're going to begin with a chain two. And we're going to place two double crochets in each stitch in our row going all the way around, starting with this current stitch where we already placed our slip stitch and our chain two. So we're going to repeat that going around our row and when we get done, we should have a total of 24 double crochets. And make sure you don't accidentally work in the slip stitch at the end of the row. And at the end of your row, you're going to skip your slip stitch as well as your chain two, and you're going to slip stitch into the top of your first double crochet. And for row three, we're going to begin with a chain two. And the pattern for this row is going to be to alternate between placing one double crochet in our first stitch and then two double crochets in our second stitch. And we're just going to alternate between placing one and two double crochets going all the way around our row. So at the end of our row, we should have a total of 36 double crochets. And at the end of our row, we're going to skip our slip stitch and our chain two, and we want to place a slip stitch in the back loop only of our first double crochet. From here, we're going to chain 12. Once you have your 12 chains in place, then I want you to skip seven stitches. And in the back loop only of your eighth stitch, you're going to place a slip stitch. Then we're going to chain two and working in the front loops only. So what we're going to do is just dive right into our current front loop right here beside this back loop only we just worked in. And we're going to place a double crochet there. And sometimes that can be a little tight. From here, we're going to work in the front loop only and we're going to place a double crochet in our next stitch. Then we're going to skip our next stitch and place one double crochet in the front loop only of our following two stitches. And that's going to be our pattern going all the way around our row, skipping our next stitch and then placing one double crochet in the following two stitches. And at the end of our row, we should have a total of 24 double crochets. And at the end of the row, you're going to skip your slip stitch in your chain two, and you're going to slip stitch into the top of your first double crochet. And from here, we're going to cut and tie off our yarn. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Crochet with Julie. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.